right 90 degrees I want to be facing Tim's ear I'm gonna rotate myself away from Tim's arm by attaching myself to a part of the body to a part of Tim's body away on the arms on the offside so both hands are on the back of the head before I had a problem on my left side I use my left hand over here and I return now there's a problem on my right side I'm gonna take my right hand underneath my opponent's leg reach and rotate Notice, I'm still not squeezing tight to finish. All we're doing is maintaining. As long as Tim doesn't get out, everything is fine. Here a perpendicular angle, which we went one of three ways. Under the leg, under the arm to grab the knee, or under the far hip to lock the hands. kick and curl and we're gonna finish the choke with extreme amount of ease you know also he's not used to being this heavy as much as that you know he didn't have a hard weight cut he's showing up fighting 15 pounds heavier than he's used to fighting yeah and that could be a strain on his cardiovascular system. And feel weird as well, the difference in fighting and not having that explosiveness or... Oh, his arm's gonna get stretched out here. Look at that Bagoff isolating that right arm. Bagoff's pulling the triangle. Trying to do... Oh, if that leg gets over the knee, that's a fight that they have to... F this is gonna be this tiny fight right now that's occurring, where they're trying to move the hand. He's out, is he out? Wait a second. He's got Bubba Jenkins is out. Oh, wow. Ali Bagov has finished Bubba Jenkins. We need to see that. Was it some sort of modified? Well, he was locking up the triangle. But I don't know whether he used his grip to yeah, isolate I, the, uh, the, the the artery on the high. neck or something like that. I'm not sure if that's exactly what happened. But that is, it was a strange position. He was defending the arm. And then all of a sudden, Herm D was in. I need to see that again. I mean, mad respect to Herb Dean that he was able to see what was going on because... Сейчас, и сейчас отлично, отлично получилось перевести. Сейчас будет пытаться вставать. И если, если получится вот из этой позиции дальше или вывести, или просто побить, то первый раунд здесь будет совершенно однозначно, а то это могут досрочки. Недалеко попытается скручиваться. Есть возможность выйти на руку. Пошел на нее. Есть клетка помешает на добрый в эту сторону тянуть будет. Вот, Но зато есть треугольничек. Есть треугольничек, и треугольничек неплохой. Локтям пробивает сейчас Богдан. Дальше доводи, 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 все. Сдается, сдается, Богдан Барбу. Вот.
знаете, что дважды дрался на претендентской серии Дэйна Уайта Джордана Спиноза. Сейчас здорово он прошел в ноги, но вот попался на гильотину. Мэджинал, посмотрите, изо всех сил пытается завершить прием, но, судя по всему, да, ничего не получается. А вот это, кстати, опасно, очень опасно. Треугольник Мэджинал тоже умеет делать. Почти закрыл уже захват. Посмотрите, есть. Не очень понятно, насколько плотно. Рука там. Сейчас Нет, я... смотри, отлич... отлично получилось. Посмотрите, плотно-плотно завел ногу очень далеко. Да, сдается, сдается, посмотрите, Шпиноза. За полторы минуты Шнел побеждает Мэтт треугольником. Шнел. Причем пропустив такую плюху на первых секундах, благо она прошла вскользь. И после этого уже был вообще вопрос, как в стойке он будет сражаться. И очень здорово выступил Мэтт Шнел. И что четвертая победа. Oh, he's got a multitude of options here. He's got that triangle. He's got an arm isolated on the far side. You could see him actually holding his hand to his own head on the phone almost to block and lock in that arm. This is crazy, Dean. Ben's in, Ben's in trouble here. He needs to think about discombobulating the legs. He needs to move the knee and put pressure on the knee. Very difficult to get out of this. But look, could be out, Chris. And that's it. It's all over. Kleppner puts him out in one tonight. The three arena stun as the hometown hero falls victim to a triangle choke that Kleppner was really looking to impose his will. And here is how he did it. He got his hips nice and tight. Look for the arm by here, Chris. He's looking to get his legs off and flatten out the arm. But Ben did the correct thing and jumping over and passing the leg. And you see Matt straight away to side control. Look at that though, holding onto the leg. He's got an arm and he's got the triangle choke. This guy will tie you. to celebrate with his corner. That was the tightest of strangleholds. I think I'm going to go have a chat with him. <laughs> Good luck. Keep your arms safe. If I see a guy underneath figure four in the body, because all you're doing is keeping yourself there. But when he opens up, like you see right here, now comes the attacks. Now he can go after that arm, and he can create situations where he puts Dan Cassell on the defensive. And his one submission win, John, did come by on ball. This is a tight position. He can end up in a triangle position here. Good job of Cassell to bring it back. But you can see that movement is causing Cassell a problem. Now you're seeing Soli come out on top. Cassell trying to drive through. We'll see who ends up right to the triangle. Trying to lock it in early in this fight. The defense is causing him a problem with where it's at. 
it's helped because he's got a good angle on Cassell right now, but he does not have that lock in a position behind the knee, so you see space. That's going to allow Cassell to stay there. Dan Cassell going to try to loosen that lock. It's with tighter the now. Punches in the face, he's pulling down on the... Yeah. It is all over! Just like that! Victorious once again to make it official, Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the tap comes by way of a triangle choke. Officially, three minutes, 15 seconds, round. And in his mind, prepared for the physicality of the former lightweight, Mike Wilkinson. Now, Wilkinson, stocky, strong fighter. Excellent takedowns. Jason looking for a triangle, try to slip that wrist through. Wilkinson still has an arm inside there. Now he's starting to lock it up very tight here. This is something here. This is very tight. He's going to be able to finish it here. Wilkinson in big trouble. Now the elbows are coming. Stop, 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 stop. He's out. Holly Jason getting it done once again. An explosive submission to knock Mike Wilkinson from the ranks of the unbeaten. It was a classic triangle attack. He grabbed the wrist, pushing right between his legs. Wilkinson had his other arm in it, but he had some space to move in there and, and defend. But once Wilkinson brought that other arm out, it was all over. He even had an arm bar there if he wanted. Honey Jason, beautiful submission. And you got to admire the toughness of Mike Wilkinson. But this arena has been turned on its axis, courtesy of Honey Jason, now 3-0 in the UFC, his eighth career win by way of submission. When we return, we get it done. And yes, we are at the midpoint of the first round. Starting to work that guard a little bit higher. You see him utilize that fit, that cage. He's going to go for that arm right now. You see where are going. He's locking it in. Figure four in that arm, holding on to it. But that will not stop someone that knows how to push that arm free. Gozali is smart enough and good enough. He knows what to do. Going right to a triangle choke. He is in trouble right now. Gozali employing the triangle choke on Berlitzer. Gozali looking for his 11th first round finish. All of his wins have come within the first five minutes of a fight. You see the Berlitzer's arm is all the way across. That's a bad position for it to be. see that Hyam is actually committing towards squeezing on that choke with everything he has. He's still working towards that arm bar, Maul. He's under the hips. He's under yep, the hips. Let's go. He wants to change the angle of this. Right now, this triangle being straight ahead, he can't create the same. And there's the tap, and Haim Gozali picks up his eighth submission win. Let's go to Michael C. Williams. Okay, gentlemen, in the center, please. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the triangle choke brings on the tap officially. Four minutes, two seconds, round number one, the winner by submission, the Israeli Batman, Chaim Buzali. To isolate that leg, get that leg entanglement that she talked about in the fighter meeting. She wants to isolate that leg and get a leg lock submission. All right, let's back to get up. Oh, and here comes a reverse triangle from Demopolis. this. She's got the reverse You've triangle. you got to be kidding me. She's, she's got to get her ankle behind the knee. She just has her toes right now, and she's not able to reach up and grab her shin. Vanessa Hughes needs to look to the lights right now. Look to the stars. Get a good posture and get your hips in, because right now Demopolis has her in a very dangerous submission attempt. Very high level, and now she's got her posture broken. Looking to work this reverse triangle, and she's got the, her ankles behind the knee. This is tight. Demopolis, so dangerous on the ground, and she's showing you why. This is a tough position right now. I mean, if she, she's got to get her hips in, and she's got to get her posture up. A lot of time for Vanessa Demopolis to operate here. Oh, she's out. out. She's over. Oh, and my goodness. Are you kidding me? Wow. What a 
submission from Vanessa Demopoulos. Oh my goodness. That was some high level jujitsu. It really cinches this up, and this makes it really hard to escape. And the fence really benefited Demopoulos because if Sam Hughes could have circled to her left, she could have got out of this submission. But I mean, Demopoulos, just a you know the multiple Pan Am champion, really showcasing her skills. UFC is now on Twitch. Follow to watch your favorite fighters break down past fights, preview upcoming events, and of course, game featuring Twitch streams from Stephen Wonderboy, Look Thompson, Angela Hill, and more. Flick oh. to launch one up from his back. I'm sorry, Brendan. Into a triangle, Brendan. Look at that. That's deep. That's it. He's going to get the left the arm. That's He's going to get danger. the arm across. That's the danger, and Grappling Jimmy Flick are putting him in positions where he can even chase submissions. But you see the left oh elbow goodness. of Durden. Oh, he's going to go arm bar two. That's what's saving him right now. If he gets that arm across, he's screwed. Oh, man, look at this. This is crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Jimmy the Brick, welcome oh. to the UFC. First round tap out win. That's the, I mean, that's the danger. He got close enough to Jimmy Flick, and Jimmy Flick hey, jumped man. up to a triangle. I mean, the flyweight division. A flying to triangle. I mean, he was getting beat up. He was yeah. getting beat up by Durden, and the moment he got a chance. Be able to score him big points in this matchup, but he's rocked. That's it. He's in big trouble. First round, Herman was never able to posture up, and now there's no control for Maya, at least very, very little control of Herman posturing up and then coming back down with strikes. A couple things going on. Oh, beautiful. Tr oh, and Brad Pickett wow. survived here. Big shots, hammer fists. He was rocked bad by the elbow, then the follow on punches. Akantara looking to set up a submission here and now. Almost a triangle by Maya. Very smooth transition. Herman's starting to find his rhythm a little bit here. Oh, except he's caught another triangle. This may be the end. A full mount, going for the mounted triangle. If he pulls this elbow across, this could be it. It'll be very difficult. Now he's going to convert it into an arm bar. Excellent transition for Brad Pickett. Now he's back in the triangle. Wow. Beautiful chain submissions here from Alcantara. And that's it. It is all over. Brad Pickett taps bye bye. Yuri Alcantara. First round submission victory. Well, Pickett goes down, and you got to give a lot of credit here to Alcant Alcantara, who really rained down punches, didn't, didn't gas himself out, looking for the mounted triangle, converts it to the arm bar. Pickett defends well. Look at how this fight. I think this is the end, Goldie. It's tight. It's if wrapped Herman up very gets out tight. Of this, wow. He spins. Right Maya in the still mouth. has it. Herman's in trouble. He's going to have to tap or he's out. Maya pounding away. He is out. He is it out. It is all over. Damian Maya wins. Defeating Ed Herman. Maya is a genius on the ground. There's nothing way to describe it. That was unbelievable. Here it is. It was a beautiful setup. He had his right foot on the hip, kind of coaxed him into passing the guard, flopped right into that triangle. Underhook. You got underhook. Bellator no. MMA Bantamweight Damn. division as Rivera secures the takedown, currently ruled by Darian Caldwell. And now it's Rivera from the open guard trying to deliver some ground and pound. Tenador. Just what the doctor ordered for Brad Pickett after what happened in those first five minutes. Looking for triangle, locks it up. Beautiful job by McDonald. That's what I was talking about. You give the kid an opening, he's there for it. Pickett's in trouble. Armbar triangle combination. Ooh, defends the armbar, but now he's locked up in a triangle. No doubt as he defended the armbar. Michael McDonald pushed it across his chest. Pickett's in all sorts of trouble. He's having beautiful job by Mike McDonald. That kid is for real. Submission, the complete mixed martial arts game. What a talented young man Michael McDonald is. And I wondered at so the time how Michael yeah. McDonald would respond to his last outing. Hard to do much better than that. The move of the fight is brought to you by Metro. He 
stays tight, holds onto the leg. Taking him for a ride. Brings him down, but he's got to look out for a triangle. He's got to look out for that right leg. If Nate Diaz gets that right leg over, he's got it. He Pulling locked it down. down. Nate Diaz says he's going to win. Look at Nate Diaz. Double, double fingers and a fully locked and tight. It is all over. Whoa. Nate Diaz by submission. Here's the takedown. Now, and the takedown, those long legs and Nate Diaz, he holds onto the head. And as soon as he gets that right leg over his left and puts that foot in place under the knee, bang, look at that. Double thing. He knew he had it. That's a tight triangle. Squeezes, doesn't even pull the head down and finishes it. Now Cole pulls it back to full guard. He's not controlling. It's a triangle attempt here. But Cole Miller sinks it in. It's going to be very difficult, but up. does he have but it? He's got it locked up, Mike. Can this he is finish bad. it? He's got to pull the head. Can he do it? George Cole Cole Miller. Is in deep, deep 30 seconds here. remains. Gurgel trying to survive. Yves Levine is looking very carefully if at If he him. survives, He's he may get the decision. Now. 20 seconds remains. He's in deep, deep trouble. 15 seconds. He's it's all over. George Gurgel tapped out. Cole Miller wow. is the victor. Attempting to pass the guard. And what happened is George Gurgel just got sloppy in there while he was inside Cole Miller's guard. He left an arm in there. Cole with those long legs. Locks in that triangle, he's pulling down the head, and they rolled from this position several times. See, he's got him here, now he turns it into a mounted triangle. Now he's putting all his weight down on George. George turns sideways, he tightens it up even more, actually. They roll over back to his back. He hangs on to it, Cole Miller keeps the triangle, and eventually George is forced to tap. Lost it, and now Miller is on top of him. Now he lost it, and Miller right now is going for an arm. Looks like he's trying for a Kimura. He might try a triangle, an inverted triangle, and he's got that, Mike. When we saw Toby Imada put someone to sleep with one of them. It is over! He's got it. Look at that. Cole Miller with an incredible submission. Wow! Wow. And Cole, as Dan gets on top of him, Cole locks in an inverted triangle. Those long legs really come in handy. Look at it. He cinches it up without you even using his hands here. Cinches it up and then attacks the arm. Just beautiful jujitsu by Cole Miller. Cole Miller. Opposite of what they think. Similar to boxing, obviously, against a southpaw if you're not accustomed to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I, I don't exactly agree with that because everybody does. Oh, beautiful takedown. Oh, and right, right into a triangle position. If he gets his right leg underneath Chael Sonnen, he is in a triangle. Look at that. Bam. Oh. That's it. How good That's is Damian Maya? That's how good he is. Sonnen trying to survive. Ahead. That's it. it is all over. That's how good Damian Maya is. Unbelievable. Given the opportunity, right to his expertise, the fight over just seconds later. Let's look at it again here, Mike. His son tries to roll into the top position where he's more comfortable. He falls right into the trap and gets submitted. That is jujitsu on another. Oh. oh! And he drops it. Fedor jumps on him. Verdun trying to hold on to his arm, arm, going for an arm bar. He almost got caught in an arm bar there. Hammer fist by Fedor. Verdun trying to wrap him up. He's got his arm again. He's got it again. He's got it straight. He's got, He's got it locked. He's almost got it locked. Here comes the triangle choke. Verdun is deep in a triangle choke. Fedor is very deep. Verdun 
said he would. Look at that. I thought he was going to pop Fedor's arm. I didn't think he would give up. Well, he only tapped once. <laughs> didn't he want to yeah, make yeah, it as a bad job? Look at that. Just deep. There it is. He did not want to do that. I have felt that pain before. Having to tap. Bermudez steps in real close with a short right hand. It shows his confidence in that. Oh, that's it. Right hand. And now Gaethje goes inside and lands. Nermago Metal back to the well with that front kick. Oh, beautiful takedown by Nermago Metal and gets the bat. Wow. And from Bermudez drops Grant who gets caught in no man's now land. Now he's setting up a triangle from Mount. This is where Davy Grant's got to be really careful as he rolls through here. He's going to fall trap that Bermudez is setting him. Look at this. Wow, look at this work. Right into the full mount. I mean, that was a fantastic transition with a lot of time. He's going to go right back to that same position. Oh, he's going triangle here. Setting up triangle into the arm bar. Oh, triangle choke by the Mega Metal. That is a tight top position there from Manny Bermudez. He's got that in there. Oh, Davy Grant's trying to find his way out of it. He sat back. He's driving his head to ceiling but it's going to be difficult look at this it's a double attack here from Manny Bermudez switches back to just the triangle oh that's going to be tight Davy Grant's going to struggle to get out of that wow Manny Bermudez Transition to the mount, got, to, got the triangle position set up, and the rest was history. Beautiful work there. Wow. Showed us a bit of everything in that, Dan. Showed wow. he has power in the hands. Rev didn't jump in and he went to sleep. But wow, what a performance by the number one pound for fighter, pound for pound fighter in the world, Habib Nurmagomedov. And but he gets the job done on the mat. And, you know, it was the confidence as well. It was the way that he stepped in with that first right hand. Khabib Nurmagomedov has immediately resorted to tears, and you can be sure, bottling up a lot of those emotions here during this fight week without his late father, Abdulmanop Nurmagomedov. And now that the mission is accomplished and the task is done, he can exhale, and an amazing mm -hmm. display from Gaethje coming in. Both of these guys managed by Ali Abdelaziz, who is...